Hi everyone, Beth again. My friend John saw a photo of this one and wants a few of them, something like that for his Airbnb. I think he liked the circle aspect of it and the uh, lacing or spiderweb bit. The, this blue came through the white here because I think I stretched it quite a bit so I'm going to try and not stretch it too much today after I've done it. And um, I've used a slightly different colour to match his, um, match his colour scheme as well. So he wanted blues, blacks and white. So, I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to try actually doing a, a sort of a ring type pour in the centre. Oh, actually I've got far too much paint. I might, um, I've got another canvas ready to go. already for a ring pour I should, anyway. Too much white for what I want to do. I'll leave that there and I'm going to continue over here and I'll move the camera over later. So I've got some white, and the idea was just to, I'm going to squeeze this in, I think this is going to end up too pale, I need it, shouldn't, shouldn't have put the white inside it. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like. Now before I stretch it, I'm planning to go in and do that. Okay, let's hope I can, oh, I didn't get too much colour in my white this time, that's that's a good, it's a good change. It's very slow getting it out of the bottle like, bottle like this, I've got a, quite a fine, um, quite a fine nib on it. I want to keep some of that um, some of that circular shape. So that seemed to be what, what John liked, I think. So my um, mixture is just uh, float troll and water. It's about um, one part paint to two and a half paints plus float troll in the blue and the white and um, initially in the blue and the, that white and the, um, the light blue and, and anyway the black seemed to need um, seemed to need less, it seemed to be thinner for some, and uh, so I used less float troll. Okay. 
and I've used um, one to three for the global mediums in that uh, in the white that I put underneath it I thought that that could be a little bit um, a little bit thinner well I love the um, the spider webs I just think it needed to be a little bit uh, darker color for contrasts sure quite whether to take it over the side or maybe just to the edge it's just slightly over on that side okay so I want to at least touch the three sides which I've done it's a little bit of a formula Move it. I might just take it back that way a little bit. Off that side, maybe. I quite like that. Now I think what I might do, just save me moving, the, stopping and moving the camera, I'm going to see if I can swap these two over. Actually I should do it on the whole, on the whole, whole thing. Okay, there we go. Listen to those birds. Have a bird bath, and they're just—they're coming in and out all day. It's lovely, really. Okay, still in, in the shot. So let's try this one. And this has been sitting there for a bit longer. Maybe. Towel, paper towel. Um, it seems to still be okay. I think you want to have enough um, enough volume, you know, enough um, paint sitting there uh, to get this. Now, I actually, remembered now that I saw at least or whatever. Do this. Do a sort of round like that. Let's see what that does. rather than just squirting in. Oops, got the whole lot in the paint then. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. Okay, so if you're trying to, if you're doing this, this is where I squirted and came back out, and sort of over a couple, a couple of these, I, this is where I tried to do a bit more of a twirl in there. Um, probably I needed to give a bit more of a burst to that one, um, but certainly you can see that there's just different effects by how you do that that squirt. I think I'd prefer to hold the canvas than the than the metal rack. Oh, come on, white, flow off. 
Aqui, ó. So I always like to evaluate the sort of my learnings and when I show you the two, this one here had more paint so it is quite a different, uh, different effect. And I think I like the first one, there's just that simplicity. Anyway, let's take you down. So here's this one. Okay, so I'll start up here. Great um, cobwebs or lace. Okay, so that's the second one, and here's the first one. I think I they're both both gorgeous actually. I love them, but I think I like the uh, less paint and the and the greater sense of circles just for this particular pour. If you're doing a river effect, then this more spread out lacing would be would be good. I like the sort of layered, layered effect there. Okay, so there's, let me get in focus. Let me know which one you like. That's A. And that's B. Which one do you prefer? Um, I'm going to do another one now. Um, and I'll post that separately, probably, all together.